Hey guys, welcome back to Crystal Clear Ideas where we are diligently planning towards success. And in this video, we are going to be unboxing a little happy planner goodness. So in this video, I wanted to show you guys what I ordered as my customized planner from the happy planner. And I wanna go ahead and set up my catch all planner that I'm gonna be using from July until the end of 2020. So I actually did get an opportunity to purchase quite a few things from the Happy Planner website. Um, one thing was that when they decided that they were gonna go ahead and release this um, customized um, planner, it was around the time of my anniversary and so I decided to use part of my gift to go ahead and receive this. And then also they had a sale on a few of their sticker books. So I did pat, um, pick up a few of those sticker books as well. I am actually going to do a Happy Planner unboxing um, because I did receive two boxes from them um, that I purchased, of course, paid with my own money. But in this video, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I chose for my customized planner. So as you know, it says that this box has your name all over it, which it does. And we're just going to open it up and see what we got. Happy things inside. And I don't care about tissue paper, so or preserving those stickers. Okay, you guys, look at my cover. I love this. It says crystal clear ideas. And I chose the wow style. And that's the back. Okay, I also got um, a sticker book, watercolor. I'm gonna actually just do a separate flip through of this. So you guys, you know, just stay tuned because the flip throughs are coming. I'm gonna be flooding all your little YouTube um, notifications. Okay, one of a kind, just like you. Let's put it together. So this is cute. Okay, so. I actually went ahead and got the violet or purple metal discs with this. And the reason I decided to do that is because the other ones that they offered, I already have. And I'm a metal disc girl, so I just wanted something that was going to add to my collection. I'm actually not going to put these two together just because that's not my style. Um, but I am going to add this to my collection because I do have a plans for that. Just to let you guys know that whenever you order any of these customized planners, you know, you can think ahead. You don't have to get exactly what you want to go together. Um, you can just, you know, pick whatever you don't have in your collection. So, of course, I'm checking everything. So, that's just a box. Okay, so the in the guts of the planner is here. Then they have this to help you put the planner together, which I might actually use. And then that's it. So let me move all of this out the way. Now, the purpose that I have for getting the wow style is twofold. I actually am going to attempt to attend Go Wow this year, uh, 2021 actually. And so I decided that this would be a good look for me. But I also want to refresh my current planner. And so I'm gonna utilize that. You guys, this is gorgeous. I don't even know if y'all can see, but like, I love this. This is so, oh my goodness, I just love it. I'm so excited. Okay, and then these are the dividers that we have. I'm just gonna show you real quick. This is the cover. This is my one and only Precious Wildlife. And this happy planner belongs to then you have your um, two years at a glance calendars there let's put it right there that way you guys can see too okay and then we have the years here kind of for pre-planning okay and then we have july notes and ideas um, holidays birthdays dates to remember which i actually really like this I'm not really fond or big on the currently pages, but I really like this. So I may actually utilize this in the future because I feel like it's more customizable and that's the look that I'm actually going for. Always believe in your wildest dreams. So this is July. This is August. This is September. 
This is October. Nothing is impossible. The word itself says impossible by Miss Audrey Hepburn. This matches the cover. This is December. Success is most often achieved by those who don't know that failure is inevitable. You are fearlessly authentic. I love the black and white. And I just love this muted color palette. Don't be like the rest of them, darling. I like that. Although I walk with grace, I have a mighty roar. Ooh, y'all. Do y'all see this rose goodness? Rose gold goodness, y'all. Fashion fades, only style remains the same. This is fab. Do you hear me? I love this rose gold goodness. This is going to be my fave. I already know it. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Always be the leading lady of your own life. Fill your heart with what's important and forget the rest. And then this is the back cover, which this one doesn't have the um, gold foiling like the front cover. But I still think that it's super, super cute. Super, super cute. And then we have the guts or the inside of the planner here. And of course... I have the notes page on the back. I'm going to go ahead and open it up because we're going to start putting some things together. So let's go ahead and mosey along. So you guys, this right here is my current catch-all planner. And because I am going to um, be working from home due to COVID, you know, I am going to set this up as if I'm going to be working from home permanently because that may be something that may be you know on the agenda in the future so this video is going to begin to get a little noisy because i am going to start taking things apart um i decided i was going to use the rose gold discs just because i love the way it looks y'all but i do have the other discs that i can use let me pull those out just in case i want some more Okay, that's the rose gold in case I want more of an option. Okay, now that I have this on top of here, I think I'm going to stick with this. I don't think I'm going to find my gold because I don't think that I want to do the gold. I think I'm going to just stick with this. So, yeah, we would have been moving into July here. You guys didn't get an opportunity to see this. But I am going to keep this section because I'm going to use it for something else. Because, you know, we don't have time to be wasting planners. That just is January. This is the budget. So, yeah, I'm going to take some things out. So, let me put this to the side. Because that... I got my dashboards and I'm going to go ahead and take all of these out. So you guys, while I take everything off the discs, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up just so that you won't have to worry about hearing everything. you guys so now we are going to put everything together and let's see how this little contraption works huh let's check this out let's see what we working with so I'm very particular putting it in with my hearts 
lined up, even though it may not stay that way. And put my cover on this side. Oh, you guys, this is awesome. I love this. This works really, really well. You see that? I just popped them bad boys right on in there. Yes. Okay, and then we're going to move on to this. There we go. And you guys, look. You see how my hearts line up? I love that. Okay, happy planner. So you got this thing down. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put my back cover on. And my goal here for my catch-all is I still want it to catch all, but I don't want it to be as chunky as it was before. So I'm going to do the planner part first, and then I'll add my extra stuff. So here is my package. It has the inserts inside. And I'm going to pull that out real quick. I'm going to try to keep it together, you guys, because... I'm going to put it back in that slip cover. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to do three or four months, maybe. Let's do, let's do three months just to keep it slim. So I actually picked up the vertical planner and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Look at that note section. Yes. <laughs> I am so excited. I feel like this is clean, it's minimal. It will go with any color that I actually want to create with my spread. And that was what I was looking for. Um, I like to change it up. And sometimes I don't always want to have to match the color that is on the page. And even if I don't have to match the color that's on the page, one other thing that I really don't want to do is wipe out my whole page before I get started. So this gives me a clean palette and I am so excited, so excited about this. Okay, so that's, okay, so this is August here. So that was July and now we're moving on to August and we'll put that in. You guys, this is so easy to put together. Now, I'm going to tell you, when it came to the price, um, it was a little more expensive than purchasing your own planner from Happy Planner out of Michael's or Joanne's. And I understand that, you know, with them having to take the time to customize each and every planner for individuals who have ordered a customized planner, that they were going to charge a little bit more. But to be real with y'all, your girl would not have purchased this. Really, your girl would not have purchased this with um, her own coins if it wasn't going to be an anniversary gift from hubby. Just to be real with y'all. Because the way your girl co coins is set up over here, we not um, spending this type of money on no planner. So, I didn't really have in mind what I wanted. And I saw that it was coming out. And I was like, oh, yeah, let me go ahead and switch it up. Because y'all know I get bored. So, I like to switch it up a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put the October in here, just so, actually, do I want to put October? Yeah, let me go ahead. I'm going to put October in, and then that'll be the last month, so that'll be four months. So, yeah, and I'm going to just leave it here. I'm not even going to put the November divider because I don't want it to get messed up or anything. I just want to make sure that everything is going to be everything. I love this. You guys, this is so, so cute. So now I'm going to just put this back. And this is what I like to do. You know, sometimes we mess it up a little bit. Don't put it in there right. But I like, if I can, to get it back in there the way I found it. So that I can keep it nice. It's like, you know, new. And then for these, I will have to house these somewhere special. So I have this. I'm going to put that to the side. So now I have this done. This is my first section. This is going to be my catch-all um, monthly and weekly that I'll be utilizing. 
And so now I'm going to go ahead and put in my divider. I'm still going to use my girl you go in places. I did not pick up any dividers from um, the store or from the Happy Planner to match this planner. But that's okay. So now we're going to move into July and August. So I'm just going to put July and August here. And so I am actually going to use this section for faith. I actually um, did not purchase a faith planner this year for 2020 because I wasn't wanting to purchase another planner. Uh, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that a while ago I used a horizontal for faith. Um, and then I decided, oh, well, I'm just going to customize my own. Girl, that did not work. Girl, stuff is here, there, and everywhere. So now I'm going back to having a dedicated area for faith. And it doesn't have to have a lot of writing in it. But at least I will feel good knowing that I'm actually doing it and using the section of my planner instead of tossing it. So I have that. Now, some of these other parts of the planner I took out. My pre-planning guide that I had purchased from Little Miss Fancy Plans. I was using it, y'all. It was it was awesome. I have been using it so much. But as soon as quarantine hit, your girl fell off. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be putting it back in. I just don't think I am. Not right now. Um, and then also, I did use that, but I only got the one. So my budget is going to have to go back in here. And I actually like having my budgeting section. And I think it's really important to keep that section in here because... I feel like having the whole section for the whole year is going to be beneficial for me. So I'm going to take this, separate this, and I don't think I need all of those dividers because I'm not going to do so many sections in here. I'm trying to figure out a more minimalistic approach, not only because I'm pretty much still safe at home, and I haven't been out and running the streets and stuff. But also because I would like to be more minimalistic. I don't want to have too much. I want to just have exactly what I need. And I feel like that's important. Especially with all the things going on. Around the world, I just want to make sure that I'm not doing the most that I'm being intentional aha uh -huh, my word for the year with my spending my budget and everything that I need okay so now that that is done I had a pre-planning section for my videos in here called get social to be honest I really don't need all of the papers that's in the section but I just feel like it's not that much in this section, so I'm going to go ahead and, and go with it. And I'm going to use it pretty much as a catch-all. So not only is it going to house my... Let's do it this way, because obviously I'm doing the most on that one side. Okay, y'all. Okay, so I got that in there. So now let's start from the back. Okay, so from the back, I'm going to do the Get Social. I'm going to do this, but I'm going to separate that with my insert. So there are a few inserts, like my goal sheet, that I want to continue to have in here. My spring cleaning, my what's for dinner, my happy mail addresses, 
my planner wish list, my natural disaster prep, my important numbers, and my go wild budget review. I want to keep all of these in there. So if there are a few things that you heard me say that you aren't familiar with or you've never seen, they are all on my channel. Everything that I've created here is on my channel. So um, I'm not going to link all the videos because that's a lot of videos. This is the most recent that I've done for Go Wild. And then, of course, I created this on my channel as well. So that's how things are going to go. And then these are just tidbit information. Um, since, you know, being safe at home, the girl has been engaging in some Zoom parties and trying to stay connected with my friends. And so I've been coming up with all kinds of different things. And so I wanted to document that as well. And then we got this. And you guys, this is it. This is my, oh, I love it. I love it, you guys. So the folder, I didn't put back in the, um, what I was using for cash envelopes, I didn't put that back in. Um, so it's very, very light. Yes. Okay, so first section, my catch-all. So I have July to October, second section. It's going to be my faith sec section. I'm actually going to go ahead and put to October in here, but I'm not going to do it now. I'm just going to do July and August, and then in August, I'll go ahead and add the ones that I want. I'm going to keep it thin for a little while. Then I have my budgeting. Then I have my um, goals. I have my what's for dinner and some of my important numbers and so forth. And so... I am loving this, you guys. I feel like it is simple. I feel like it is neat. And I love this cover. I love the back of it. Um, I am loving the metal discs that are on here, which are still the rose gold. I decided not to go ahead and do the gold. I just feel like the softer look looks a lot better to me right now. I love how the cover actually shows this dot here. It's on the first page. Do you guys see that? That is so cute. I just love that. And so one thing that I wanted to tell you guys is this is multifunctional for me because after I finish these six months and I get ready to set up my plan for 2021, I already have plans for this cover um, and the back. And so that's why I did it that way. Um, I also have purchased some inserts for, um, you know, what I'm going to create after I'm done with these six months. So make sure you stay tuned. And I feel like that's really important to be creative and try innovative and try to find new ways to utilize your supplies. And so that's why this was such a good idea for me to purchase this planner, because not only is it going to function as a planner for me, but also after I'm done using it as a planner, I can take the cover and I can take the back off and create a whole new planner, journal, notebook, anything. So I'm super, super excited about that. So you guys stay tuned if you want to see how I'm going to be setting that up. And at that time, I may use the gold metal discs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for allowing me an opportunity to share my new customized happy planner with you guys, as well as my new, uh, or you know, updated, revised um, 2020 catch all planner catch all planner that I am so excited about. Stay tuned. I am going to be doing a plan with me soon. Um, so did you guys see how I set up for July and how I use this new vertical layout that is minimalistic and plain and amazing? I'm super, super excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you um, drop your gem in the comments down below so that I know you made it into the video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.